my name is Tiffany and thank you so much for volunteering with Lift Urban Portland. Our mission here at First Emanuel Lutheran is to provide fresh greens and vegetables for the homeless in the Northwest area. Our location is 1816 Northwest Irving. We have limited parking in our parking lot as well as two hour city street parking within our block. This is Pastor Aaron and Pastor Melinda with First Emanuel Lutheran. Hi there. Hi, thanks for helping with the gardens. Uh, we're here to, to help you or give you directions. We don't know anything about gardening, but we can help you find your way around the church and we're glad you're here. When you are volunteering at Lift Urban Portland, you will need to provide the following. Protective clothing, garden boots, or sneakers that you don't mind getting dirty, gloves, tools, trowels, pruning shears or scissors for harvesting, a sun hat or sunscreen depending on the season, and in the event you do not have tools, we will provide some in our credenza or tool trunk. Once you've been settled and parked, the first thing you want to do is sign in here at First Emanuel Lutheran. Follow me. Once you arrive inside the hallway, you'll find a credenza on your left. Here we are. This is a place you can store your personal belongings. And there are tools here provided in addition to some gloves and scissors for harvesting. Below these double doors, you'll find garden seeds and our garden log book. This is where you'll store your hours, how much produce you harvest, you'd log your hours here, and the date that you volunteered, and how many hours for your shift. And this is where you'll also find the key code for the master lock box, for the watering key, and the keys for the gates in addition to the tool trunk. So once you exit the first manual glass door, you're going to walk across the sidewalk and head to the church building wall near the electric wall here. And here you'll find the master lockbox. You'll enter that code, push the lever down, and you'll find the water key and two keys, one for the chain link gate and one for our wood toolbox. So this drum key will access three locations where we have hoses. And I'm going to demonstrate how to turn on the hose in addition to our drip system. Let's begin. You put it in at the top. You're going to turn it to the left. There's a Y here. This side is the timer, and this side is an independent hose for our manual watering with our watering cans. This is the on and off switch for this hose for the watering cans. This needs to be to the left, and the timer for the fall weather will be set. You push your thumb in a little button here. You're going to turn it to the right for 15 minutes. Now in the summer season, you're going to want to have it at 45 minutes because it's much warmer weather. Then we're going to turn this on. For our manual watering and I'll demonstrate where we're going to water manually next. So now you've just finished the first hose location. We've got our water in our watering cans and the timer's running for 15 minutes on the drip system. Now I'm going to take you to the second hose location. Follow me. We're going to head up towards the parking lot and it's a little area that we call the alcove. And in the alcove there's also another hose 
and our most sunniest location for our prized plants. And here we are. The hose is located on the right. This is where you would put the key in and then you can manually water our plants that are located here. So we've just finished our second location in the alcove and I'm going to lead you to our third location on the other side of the building. So here we are at our third location. It's the uh, cross street of Northwest Irving and 18th. We have garden beds that are on our street here and I'm going to take you to our third water source of the building. You're going to turn your water key on again to the left. We're going to set the timer by pushing the button in to 15 minutes. And that will run our drip system into our raised beds. I'd also like you to check the drip system and make sure that all of the hoses are not submerged in dirt. They need to be upright and over the dirt. Otherwise they get clogged. Now we're gonna begin the manual watering. We're starting here at the parking strip I have a label of water here and in the fall months we take and water for about five seconds per plant. In the summer months we manual for about 10 seconds to 20 seconds per plant. And then we're going to proceed to the grass area but first we have some boxes. We'll water the boxes that are on both sides of the stairs. And each season we may have different plants here. Currently we have spinach, chard, and beets. In the back area we have five beds. But in addition to that, that's not on our system, we also have some boxes here back of the church. And we'll begin to water those. And these wood boxes here. Another essential task while volunteering is weeding. Take a look at these plant identification sheets. Familiarize yourself with the different species. Weeding is an ongoing and weekly process. Be sure to watch out for the drip system. Make sure you use your trowel and be sure to pull out the weeds by the roots. Place the weeds in our compost pile or yard debris can. Often you will be watering and weeding without supervision. If you cannot ID a particular plant, feel free to leave it alone. Myself or another volunteer can extract it later. You can always text a photo of the plant to my cell phone if you have any further questions. So here we are at the food pantry. I've just grabbed some bags which are on the blue shelf down below and we are going to do a quick harvest today which are on Tuesdays and Fridays. Today we have butternut squash and I am going to be bringing this to the pantry. On a typical day for harvest you'll have a variety of things from kale to tomatoes, cucumbers, different types of lettuces, greens, collards. Butternut squash are fairly heavy, but
but bags are provided in the pantry and you would bring it before noon to the pantry and a scale is provided inside to weigh it and to log it make sure you log into your volunteer log sheet the weight and final amount of produce for your volunteer day. So we've just arrived down the stairs of the pantry and we're going to turn right and head into the storage area where pantry volunteers log their hours and um, get their named tag. Down at the bottom shelf you'll find a weighing scale. I'm going to take my butternut squash and it says it's four pounds. So then that's the number that I would put in your volunteer log sheet that's upstairs in the credenza. At the end of the day when we're all done we want to make sure that we have our water key and that all three water sources are turned off which you would be turning to the right. Then we're going to put it back in the master lockbox and proceed to our sign-out sheet. There's a little screen to close it. So we've just put our key away and now we've come to get our personal belongings and make sure that we store our tools from our harvesting and weeding. We come to the logbook and today I would log that the butternut squash was harvested and write down the four pounds. Today worked one hour and I would put my name here and the date. The bathrooms and the water fountain are right around the corner if you need to use the restroom before you exit. And thanks again for volunteering. Thanks again for volunteering today with Lyft Urban Portland here at First Emanuel Lutheran Church. We greatly appreciate your help in impacting the lives of the homeless and people in transition. Don't forget if you have any questions or concerns on site, you can always connect with Pastor Aaron and Pastor Melinda. Have a great day.